And welcome everybody on YouTube for another standard deck. Here we got some elves today. So we're playing um, what's kind of known as Elf Ball, where we're trying to just make a lot of mana with our early things with Landwar Elf, Druid of the Cowl. We have Marwyn, one of our best cards to add lots of mana. And then with our mana, we can play lots of creatures. If we have Beast Whisperer or Banner in play, we can draw a card for every creature spell we cast. The thing that I'm doing that's a little different with this Elf Ball deck is I'm trying out four Vivians in the main deck. Vivian's just such a good card in this format that we have like the early ramping into it with our Land of War Elf and Druid of the Cowl and Mormon that hopefully we can get Vivians in play early and have them help us out. So that's our plan. Play lots of creatures, um, then attack our opponent, and that's about it. So Taco Bell or Chick-fil-A? I like Chick-fil-A more than Taco Bell, taste-wise and everything. Um, Chick-fil-A isn't the best company to support for their views on life, but as far as how food makes you feel and how it tastes, I like Chick-fil-A more than Taco Bell. Yeah, that's the plan. We're going to hopefully have Vivian on turn three already. That's that's uh, what we're going to be trying to do here. Okay, and I'm uploading the Jeskai Taking Turns deck to YouTube right now. It's a pretty good hand. Basic Island. Is this Mono Blue? This Is It? Jeskai? Could still be any of those. Okay, Thorn Lieutenant would grow Pelt Collector here, but I'm I'm playing Druid of the Cowl first because I want to play Beast Whisperer next turn and then Vanquisher's Banner. You know, I want to get those things in play before we play more creatures. Yeah, to change your lands, you just type in your your basic land into the into the search bar, go to the advanced filters, and click um, click reset in the advanced clicker the advanced filters. And then whenever you you reset, uh, it'll show the basics. All right, Beast Whisperer time. If nothing comes up, try again, I guess. I mean, that's that's that should work. And double shock. Or maybe it's shock, snap shock. Maybe they're going to snap in a shock here. No. I mean, they might as well have just cast the radical idea first, and maybe they would draw a lava coil. Oh, well, they have Arclight Phoenix. Okay, that's a reason not to necessarily need to cast it first. Uh, let's name Elf. Killing me way too fast. Keep cycling through. Uh, Kral Harpooners are in the sideboard. Um, do I want to cast Druid plus Thorn or just Steel Leaf and attack for two? 
I guess Druid plus Thorn. And then... Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, so we can attack for lethal next turn with activating Thorn Lieutenant. We have exactly 17 power on the battlefield now, so that's definitely good for us. Right, like if we draw land, we have to draw land. We have to draw forest. If we draw forest, we get to activate Thorn Lieutenant, and we have lethal. Yeah. So we need to draw forest to have lethal. Alright, looks like the opponent realizes that. Did not draw the forest. So let's grow these pulp collectors. When pulp collectors have three counters on them, they have trample. So playing two Steel Leaves will give them three counters and give them Trample. No, because... Well... I guess double Steel Leaf. Yeah, if we would have drawn the land and just cast Steel Leaf, Steel Leaf. Yeah, that would, yeah. if we would have drawn the land, cast Steel Leaf, Steel Leaf, that would get us to lethal as well. Yeah, because that's still also adding four power, just like the Thorn Lieutenant. Um, of course, now... I don't have lethal. This is only 15. Because I had because I did not draw the land in the first two draws, so I had to tap the druid. Our opponent just needs another Arc Light Phoenix or another shock. They've already gone through three shocks, so I'm not expecting them to have another shock, but they so they need another Arc Light Phoenix. We didn't get the land. Oh, yeah, that's right. That, this bottle, Todd Stevens, awakens ancient feelings. Forgot I'm in this song. All right, they did not find another phoenix, and we got there. All right, and I got everything ready to go for the taking turns one whenever that uploads, finishes uploading. So definitely think we want harpooners, and uh, cut thorn lieutenant, just kind of trim Trade Harpooner for Thorn Lieutenant. Call it a day. Do you think having Discovery Dispersal in an Is It Drake's deck is viable? Absolutely. Yeah, I think I definitely think that's a, a good card for those decks. I like the the like the one black mana source, like one watery grave or whatever, to be able to cast the dispersal part. I think that's certainly worth it. I think this is all I'm going to do. I could see playing a Shaper Sanctuary, honestly. I'm going to play... Maybe I'll just play Sanctuary instead of Banner on the draw. I'll go one-on-one. -on -one. We'll go the Coward's Way out. Yeah, they're going to have a lot of shocks, a lot of lava coils, beacon bolts. They should just be playing both sanctuaries. All right, good night, quick fix.
Okay. Game two. Yeah, so looks like the only Ravnica Allegiance card we've seen so far today is a drill bit. Which, I don't like that card. I don't like that art. That art's so violent. I don't like it. Any thoughts on a Liliana deck? I've I played I put together a Liliana deck. Um I think I need to mulligan this. I put together a Liliana deck and did not do well with it at all. Um, I don't think I built it the best. And we just got out golgari by other Golgari decks. Yeah, how do I choose the decks? So I basically just to play... Um, I play decks that I haven't... I, I don't usually like to play decks back to back too much, um, and I kind of and I want to to play like a variety of colors. You know, I want to try to get like all the colors in the color pie, and um, and so that kind of kind of helps put the decks together. I want to play, you know, like you know, so like that's that's kind of what I want to do. I want I want to play, you know, like four decks that are kind of different, uh, maybe decks that I didn't necessarily play super recently or like you know like the previous day kind of thing um and you know decks that have been doing well decks that people like and so on yeah we did lose with hadana stompy our last time we played hadana stompy we went um we went one and two with the deck so we're currently 16 and 2 overall with the deck now because we were 15 and 0 our first 15 matches and then our last league we went 1 2. Yeah, Harpooner is definitely good in the matchup. It's a lot better against Crackling Drake than against Arc Light Phoenix. Having like a Harpooner kill an Arc Light Phoenix. Not necessarily that great for us because you know they can just get it back where where we do not get our card back, but it's it's awesome against a crackling Drake. This is where I want. The intro of this song sounds like Maps by the XX. Yeah, I could see that. Yep, y'all just check out. Yeah, y'all just take out the the taking turns deck on YouTube. It was pretty impressive. We were consistently taking all the rest of the turns in the game on turn six and seven. Um, you know, just untapping with, like it was consistently untapping with Planeswalker, then taking the rest of the turns in the game. Um, what's the same as Having a harpooner block a phoenix or kill the phoenix is kind of the same. Kind of the same. So is this this is only an elf, right? Yeah, it's only whenever an elf enters you put a woman counter on it. It's not any green creature. Like our insect warriors aren't putting a counter on Marwin. Yeah, I like Puck Collector's artwork too. That's some good artwork. All right, we get to on top with Marwin. So, Steel Leaf is just free. Now we still have four mana. I guess I don't really have anything to do with that four mana though. Could our opponent handle two Steel Leaf champions? It'll be tough. Yeah, the clan caller is making them six fives too, so Lava Coil doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah, is, Viv is this an elf? Yep, one P. 
Phoenix. But yeah, I'm up I'm uploading the Jeskai Taking Turns deck right now. Um it has three minutes of uploading and then it has to go through processing, and the processing takes like 30, 40 minutes, something like that. And so whenever that's up, then it'll be up on YouTube. Can we call this deck tier one? No, I wouldn't necessarily call this deck tier one, no. But I would call it tier fun. Mm, that's a bad joke. Is yeah, is it Phoenix is close to tier one? Tier tier one? Like one is in W O N because we're about to win. All right, they're down to one singular life. One's not zero though. Okay, cannonade, clearing those things out. Plus a coil. And then they have their Phoenix to block. All right, so do I kill the Phoenix with a Harpooner or Vivian? I think I'm gonna harpooner it. I kill flyers with Vivian all the time. Just getting our cyborg card in here. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough call. The first world problems there. It's like, how do we win this game? We have to play one of these cards in our hand to win. Either one. All right, one to know. Starting off strong. Yeah, we do play Vivian way more, so that, that's what I was thinking. So that's why I played Harpooner. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, beginning of the game. We get to play first. We're so lucky. And plan is to play Druid and then Marwyn and then... Beast Whisper plus Thorn Lieutenant. Draw a card. I think that's the sequence. We'd have to get one for us before that. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's definitely a fun deck to play. Uh, you'll have to check it out later on, on the YouTube channel, Abe. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll have the replay of the Jess Guy Taking Turns deck will be ready in about 30 40 minutes um but of course you know being here is also awesome youtube channels at youtube.com slash c slash todd stevens mtg is the game sound a bit high is it? Whoa. Audio. Alright, tell me if that's better. Um, and I think I still want to go Marwyn over Beast Whisper. Yeah, we just want to play Marwyn first. They could certainly have counter magic for like Beast Whisper and stuff. Oh, it, it was fine the entire time? Oh, okay. Well, is it is it too low now? Hopefully it's still good. Cool. Audio's good. It's just, that's the sound of our opponent hitting us so hard. So looks like they're going to trickster the Marwin. Yeah, they're going to trickster the Marwin. So we can play Beast Whisper. Oh, they are not trickstering. What are you doing, opponent? I 
So I just get to add a mana. Thanks for letting me add that mana. Could have done that during upkeep, like you wanted to do. So we get to play Pell Collector, cycle it. Didn't draw a fourth land. Yeah, Pablo, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm streaming now full time, staying home and streaming. Yeah, let's go with another Beast Whisperer. Because they are cast triggers, so like we just get to get to draw a card. Okay. And then... So I have to tap Marwyn to add mana for something anyway. So let's just go with the Steel Leaf Champion. Yeah, we'll go with Steel Leaf Champion. So we know that one will, will resolve. So I want to trade Pelt Collector for Merfolk Trickster. Yeah. That's okay. I don't have anything to grow the, that Pelt Collector right now. But I'll probably find something by before next turn, but I think just getting aggressive, getting their battlefield clear. Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't think it's a great trade for us. I don't, I actually, I just, it's not really a very good trade for us, but I think it's, it's fine. Alright, let's play some more druids. Get some more mana. And see if my opponent counters anything. Alright, Vivian... I like Vivian quite a bit. So let's cast Clan Caller and try to resolve Vivian. My plan with Vivian is to destroy the Curious Obsession. Oh, that just resolves also. Well then. Do they just have Negate? Or something? Maybe just keep playing creatures. Just try to attack them for lethal next turn. Yeah, they could add spell pierce. Sure. Yeah, they could have sleep. I mean, maybe maybe they do, maybe they don't. Um, I have two Thorn Lieutenants in play that, you know, have the six mana activated ability to give them plus four, plus four. Marwyn's going to have, be able to activate, be able to add millions of mana. So these Thorn Lieutenants are actually going to be incredibly big next turn. I think we I think we missed I think that was turn six. I think we missed a land drop. I think. Looks like they're letting us attack. Um I think I just kinda go to attackers. Attack, 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 attack. No blocks? So I was gonna I was gonna spend this six mana to activate clan caller to put another clan caller into play, which would make Marwyn a 12-12, and then with 12 mana we could we could double activate the other things. But you know, they gave up. Solian Prime being our fifth sub of the day. Thank you so much for that support, Solian Prime. I really do appreciate that. There you go, numeros. Yeah, let's get some hype boats for our new sub. 
Ooh. There we go. Um, Harpooner. Great. Hmm. Probably take Banner out. It's kind of expensive. Gets countered easily. What do you think of Elves versus Stompy? Are they about the same competitively? Yeah, they're about the same competitively. Very similar. I'm not playing Vivian. Get rid of it. Vivian's really good in this matchup. Spyglass does not do anything against Curious Obsession. Reclamation Sage does, though. So I do want to bring in Rex Sage. We're going to go down to three Vivian. And Thorn Lieutenant and Pelt Collector are the two cards. Like I'm not sure which one of Thorn Lieutenant and Pelt Collector I want to cut. I want to cut one of these. Um, I think Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, I think Pulp Collector actually gets better with Harpooner and Rexage. Not really as much with Rexage, but with Harpooner. Yeah, that Jeskai deck was the same one as yesterday. Yeah. I'm not gonna get rid of turn two Marwin. Even though it doesn't really have other things to do yet. But that's what our draw step's for. You know, we have turn two Marwin. By turn three, we were going to draw three cards. And I was hoping we were going to be able to do cool things with that. So we got our best turn one play and our best turn two play. I think that's a good enough reason to keep a hand. And then we have the lands to cast whatever we draw. Seventh land, go, go, no. I want, I want seventh land. Hmm. Tilt. We don't actually have the creatures in our graveyard for this harpooner. Hmm. So we kind of tough to win from here. So yeah, so harpooner, it's a 3-2 that can fight with reach that gets to fight a flyer and its power increases equal to the number of creatures you have in your graveyard. We had zero of those creatures in our graveyard at the time. See if they have a dive down. And we're fighting the Tempest Gin. We're still in a pretty terrible spot. That's game. All right, next game. The hand of best. Best turn one, best turn two, play, plan. Did not work out. Not a good plan. I need to get this other Vivian in here. Hmm. Could be nothing but No. Let's keep it like that. 
yeah, to pick out to pick what land you want, just type in your type in the lands in the search bar, you know, forest, plains, whatever. And then um go to the advanced filters and click reset. And you can reset your lands. Oh, uh, this hand is sketchy also. If we if we draw a land it's fine. If we don't, it's not. Um the more lands you have in your opener, the more likely you are to draw more. I don't think that's how math works. Just draw a land. Thing is, I don't have anything to do on turn one, and I don't have anything to do on turn two, because I'm not going to just slam a harpooner on turn two. Unless they play... I guess I'll keep. Maybe they'll play Siren Storm Tamer on turn one this time. Maybe they'll play Siren Storm Tamer. Why is it always miscloaked here? Okay. Um, this thing's not an elf, is it? Insect warrior? Man, it was an insect warrior last time. It still is. Okay, third land. We need the third land. Uh, that's kind of like the third land, I suppose. Not attacking into a potential merfolk trickster here. Yeah, it's the land of war elves. Land of war elves. Whoops. Uh, no blocks. This Krell Harpooner not killing Tempest Gins. It's not working out for me. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking how this Harpooner can never kill a Tempest Gin. Do you own the Holiday Popper Elves? I do. Actually, so yeah, we, we could have put those elves in here. Yeah, I have those. Okay. Another clan caller. I just can't play. Yeah, I, I can't play Steel Leaf and Harpooner. Right, now we get to kill Tempest Gen. I'm leaving Land War Elves back to block the Trickster. And actually, we're not doing so bad now. Locrano, sub number six on the day. Oh yeah, we got to our, our first sub goal. Sorry, I was a little a little busy there with that. So since we're at six subs, we got to our five sub goal. That means we're cracking open a pack here on Arena to celebrate. So let's go ahead and start a poll here. You can vote in the chat for which set you'd like me to open a pack of. So you're gonna have 60 seconds whenever I start this. You can either vote for M19, DOM for Dominaria, R-I-X for Rivals of Ixalan, or X-L-N for Ixalan. So you have 60 seconds there. Locrano, hi Todd. Thank you for providing amazing content and giving me at least three new deck ideas. Keep it up. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for the kind words. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're enjoying the stream and learning. Let's see. So we're going to go ahead and Rex Age this Curious Obsession and play Steel Leaf. 
It's going to be hard to beat all these 1-1s. One uh, I don't think we can. I think... I think we're dead. I think that turn for them... Playing Curious Obsession plus three creatures that are unblockable. Don't think we can come back from that. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I guess we have... I'm going to attack in here. If they block with anything, it slows their turn, their clock down by a turn. If we draw exactly Elvish Clan Caller next turn, we'll actually have lethal. No, I couldn't play Pelt Collector and the other thing. I don't think. Right? No, I, I guess I could have played Pelt Collector, couldn't I? I did miss that. Yeah, I could have played Pelt Collector. We did not draw. Do not draw a clan caller. Um, I need that Kral Forgers. Ooh, Dominaria and Rivals of Ixalan. Got a tie. Yeah, Marwin has a bow, but no reach. Can't even fire off this bow. Too busy holding the little baby to be able to do it. To be able to hold, or to be able to do anything. Um. So I'd have like two mana. Yeah, so we got. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm just taking lethal here. So if I would have played Pelt Collector, I could have played Pelt Collector, then Rex Age, then Steel Leaf, and this. So this could have been four power. So if I would have done that, would have I would I have had lethal? Four, five, eleven. Um, 16. Yeah, I would have had lethal. Man. So I messed that up. Oh, Vivian into Harpooner? Oh, yeah. I guess there was an out. Vivian into Harpooner. Well, we're one and one. Um... Yeah, Harpooner. I was thinking about all the elves. Last turn, I could have cast uh, Pelt Collector. Um, you can use the letter or use the button Z on your keyboard to untap. All right, so either Rivals of Ixalan or Dominaria. For sixty seconds, you can either vote for. Which, which pack we're going to get, Dominaria or Rivals of Ixalan. We're getting one of these two sets. So, if I would have played... Yeah, so I had seven mana available. I could have played Vivian, uh, Tick Up, and if the, one of the top four cards was Kral Harpooner, then Harpooner would have been able to fight a... Uh, one of their 1-1 flyers, and it would be able to block the other. So, that's what could have happened. You know, we don't know what was in our opponent's hand if they had another counter spell. You know, like, they didn't need to counter the the one drop I played there. What if it comes out a tie again? Who knows? Uh, it's not looking like it's going to be a tie. But actually, maybe it will. We'll see. Dominaria or Rivals or Ixalan. What do you want? Are you kidding me? It was a tie again, 26-26? That sounds like we just gotta get both. Alright, gotta get both of them. Alright, we're gonna see which one wins. Which one's gonna be a better rare mythic? Rivals or Dominaria? Which one wins? Alright, well... Rivals is starting off strong. It's something I don't own four of. When you see the back of the card, you know you don't own four of. And Rivals opened up this. It opened up the... Tr 
So it's form of the dinosaur. It, it also cracked the vault, so it's doing pretty well. Oh, you're learning this song right now on guitar? Cool. So that was 100.8%. Home of the host. Oh, but then Dominaria Pack got me a rare wild card. Ooh, that's tough. I think I I think the I think form of the dinosaur plus vault is better than Helm of the Host plus not vault. Or plus just rear wild card. Gotta crack open that vault. So with the vault we got a mythic wild card, two rares, and three uncommons. Yeah, so I think Ravels of Ixalan pack was better because also I didn't have four Form of the Dinosaurs, but I had four Helm of the Host already. So yeah, first one one. So I did use actually use tons of I so I used to have like close to two hundred common and uncommon wild cards and actually used used them and just got 4x of every single common and uncommon in every set that's on um, on Arena here. I just filled up my collection so that every pack like that that we open, every common and uncommon go towards Vault Rewards. Because I'm not really anticipating needing the... Um, Anticipating needing, um... Hmm. Those common and uncommon wild cards. How much money should one spend to get a decent amount of cards to build decks? For the most part, Gnarly, what what I've kind of heard for as far as money-wise... So, this is kind of weird. Like, I would like to cast the banner first before I start casting all these pot collectors and draw cards with them, but... We, do, we don't know if we're going to necessarily be able to cast the banner next turn. Let's just get the Pell Collectors in play. Um, I've basically heard it's it's about $100 per deck. Like, if you buy the $100 gem pack, you get, like, a standard deck with that. And so, so you can kind of base it off that. If you want, like, you know, three decks, $300 gets you three decks. But, of course, it should get you more because a lot of things overlap and so on. So to, to track the vault progress, yeah, you can use a tool like mtgarena.pro if you want to sign up for that. Uh, it's a good arena tracker there. Um, something else that could work is you can also find it in your files on your computer, in your like window files. You can find it on there. Um, And uh, I don't know exactly where to go to find that. You can find like a YouTube video that shows you how to find your vault progress. Okay, so it's users, admin, app data, local low, slash where's is the code, slash MTGA. You can find it there. Yeah, that's also, that is, that is certainly something you can do. You can also just wait. Um, even after you have 100%, if you don't really care for the wild cards, you can just wait and you can just kind of watch it go go continually up and up and up. And yeah, so Snare Crow's there sitting on around 380%. Whenever you do, if you wait like that, whenever you do open it, you'll just open up like three vaults at the same time at over 300% and so on. So I just attacked with those um, because I was keeping the land war else to make it so we had six mana to activate Thorn Lieutenant. I do not know why Vault Progress just doesn't show in the regular game. It would make sense that it did. Because I feel like it would be an incentive to buy more things. If you're at like, you know, 85% and you're like, oh, maybe I'll just buy a few more packs and get this Vault as well. But. Okay, so I... Well... Hmm. So I feel like they'd have like finality the next turn, but if I just attack them, 
they're gonna like what trophy banner I mean they're just gonna contempt something so I'm not sure if I want to start going crazy with Beast Whisperer yet let's just attack they contempt something what this deck strategy is yeah it's just a play yeah this deck it's um real straightforward like we're just playing uh a bunch of creatures and attacking our <laughs> attacking our opponents basically what we're doing here we're, we're playing uh a bunch of creatures that have the elf creature type and um and just attacking our our opponent we have things like vanquisher's banner that make all of our elves bigger and anytime we cast an elf we draw a card and we also have the same with Beast Whisper. It's an elf that every time we cast an elf, we draw a card. And so we have like some ways to kind of churn through our deck with card advantage like that. But we don't have a ton of interaction for the opponent. We're just basically trying to cast as many creatures as possible and then attack. So Vivian will destroy Banner. Let's take. <laughs> but then Get Beast Whisper gets to kill Vivian. Unless they have a cast down. That's really bad. That was a really good How this sequence thing come for the opponent there. Me. Um. I've seen things that would break someone like you. So we're still going to need to end this game. It could be a little tough. The wilds are my shield. See what we can really do here. So Carnage Tyrant can kill Vivian. Balance comes. Yeah, I actually think the economy is just fine in Arena. Honestly, I think the economy is good. I think like these events and payouts and everything and I think it's it's a good you know it's it's honestly you know it's not like amazing but they don't want everybody to just be able to go infinite all the time you know like they want people to spend money on their product at some some points um yeah it's it takes time but the thing is is like over time it's going to take less time because when we're just starting off right now we have five sets in standard you're trying to get cards kind of from five sets but then there's going to be just one set that comes out with like Ravnica Allegiance. You're trying to get the cards for that. And then there's going to be one set after that and so on. And over time, it's going to be like whenever you start having, like if you can kind of build your collection of guilds of Ravnica right now and then Ravnica Allegiance and so on, it's honestly really not that bad. Man, that Chupacabra. I don't I don't have a way to win, I don't think, anymore. I'm not losing everything again. So. And then so I think just kinda over time, it's just when you first start a collection and you need to like get all of the things in standard, it's it's tough. But over time, whenever you're just getting one set at a time, it'll be a lot easier. So there, there are four, 
Yeah, it's about three months. There are four sets in a year. So yeah, so you have like three months. Approximately. This is also this is the longest between the fall set and then like the which is like the rotation, like Gilza Ravnica, and the next set, that's usually the biggest break. Um and then usually the other three sets are kind of pushed together a little closer together. Well, they didn't kill Marwyn, so that's good. No, don't use Marwyn. I just wait till next turn to, to play Beast Whisperer before I play this Clan Caller? No, let's just play Clan Caller. I am pretty glad they did not kill Marwyn and they killed Thorn Lieutenant. That was definitely very good. Hey, Tide, I love your Demir decks and I have a lot of fun with them. I've Meet been having trouble with the red deck friend. wins in the events, though. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to make your red deck wins deck uh, matchups better you can look towards the cards like a uh, moment of craving that can trade with something and uh gain you a couple of life that could be something to help that matchup out a little bit um ooh, moment midnight reaper well now our opponent cannot cast they cannot cast finality because finality just kills the opponent that's good oh they have another merfolk branch walker they'll be able to gain life here Eight. Cast another Beast Whisperer. Cast Steel Leaf Champion, draw three. Our opponent really should have killed this Marwyn. And a Rolf, draw three. We're gonna deck ourselves. We'll go another Steel Leaf Champion, draw three. Hmm. Lots of lands over here. And now. Like, now we're kind of looking for Clan Callers or Vanquisher's Banner. We know one of our banners is gone, so there's... Yeah, there's only one banner Balance left in the deck. Comes. Ritual of Soot. That'd be kind of annoying. So we do have to worry about decking, because these are not like you may draw a card. These are you just draw a card. So we certainly have to be worried about decking. Um, and I think we would make this trade. Yeah. I'll go ahead and make that trade. Vivian's ultimate is uh, you get an emblem with creatures you control, get plus two, plus true, have vigilance, trample, and indestructible. Oh yeah, I could just double block and not take the two damage. That's true. The reason, like one, I guess if we double block, if they have finality, finality would, oh no, finality's gonna kill it anyway because it kills the clan caller. But finality would kind of kill our opponent. I'm close to it. Just have double contempt for Beast Whispers. It's, it's bad for us, but it's not the worst for us to double contempt Beast Whispers. Because again, I can't. I'm a little worried about decking. Yeah, they just don't care about this Marwin, huh? Marwin. 
Marwin is certainly the abyss. You have to block Marwin every turn. Wow. Too many lands. How are we doing mana? One, two, three, four. Oh, I only have four mana now, so I need to use Marwin to, to tap for Clan Caller. I should have. I probably should not have played that last Druid of the Cowl. Do I attack them or Vivian? Let's attack Vivian. Sonic. Nine months already. Thanks for resubbing there for the ninth month in a row. They don't have Ritual of Soot in their main deck. Not worried about Ritual of Soot in the slightest. Thanks, Arasonic. Sub number seven on the day. They're blocking our 2-2s two with a 2-2 two -two and a 2-1. I'm not attacking with Marwin because I, I need the mana that Marwin provides to get a clan caller and put a clan caller into play. I guess that was enough to make the opponent concede. The very obvious play that I was doing. Uh, sideboarding. Nothing? Do we sideboard nothing? Now, Vimeer gets blocked by their green creatures very easily. Vinemare is not good in this matchup. It dies to finality. It, like, blocks by Merfolk Branchwalker, Jade Light Ranger, that kind of stuff. It's not good for this matchup. Spyglass for Vivian doesn't make a lot of sense when I have four Vivians in my deck. Um, yeah, even Shapers, it's just like, I feel like we just do the same thing. I'm just... Do our thing. Let's keep. We're going to have turn two Druid, turn three Druid, turn four Vivian. That's the plan. Ooh. Turn, turn two Druid, turn three Marwyn. Turn four Vivian. You need to wait a turn. Uh, the you you do need to tap the clan caller, and so it, you can't you cannot tap summoning set creatures. So, like we couldn't just go get a, a clan caller and use that clan caller to get another one. I would like to draw land. Would certainly like to draw land. Good. Now, opponent, do not, do not worry about my Marwin here. Do not, do not Chupacabra the Marwin, please. Do not do it. Just play Wow Growth Walker and another Branch Walker. Go ahead. Target Druid of the Cowl. It's a 1-3. One 1-3s three. One are better than 1-1s. One Tilt. I think they figured out that that card was good. Um, no lands for us. <laughs> I was hoping they didn't learn.
No more creatures. Nothing else. Just pass the turn. The problem with another creature on the battlefield is that if I play Vivian... I think they're manually tapping all their mana also. So if I play a Vivian, then they can attack and kill Vivian unless I draw a land. Which I did not draw a land. I could... I mean, I could Vivian tick up, get a land, play land war, and have land war be able to block Branch Walker. But if they have another removal spell for Branch Walker, then they kill Vivian. But then, if I just wait, they get to Vivian first. I think I'd have to wait, though. Yep, I think it's just the more creatures. Oh, that's not Vivian. It's a little surprising. Yeah, I think Vivian's a better play than Midnight Reaper plus Branch Walker. A little surprising there. friend. Sorry, Marwin. Want another blocker for Vivian. Hoping they don't have contempt out of those two cards we don't know. You know, like they have one unknown plus a card they drew for turn. Because we, we're going to be able to Vivian ultimate before they Vivian ultimate. As long as they don't find contempt. I still don't think our opponent's playing set. I'm still not caring to play around it at all. Okay, let's see. So, get Midnight Reaper out of here. Thorn Lieutenant. Branch Walker. Vivian takes four. Yeah, Vivian takes four. They draw three. We are not full spinning our Vivian first, but now of course they cannot protect started. theirs now. Four Marwins in the deck. Yeah, it could be fine finality after the attack. For sure. Could definitely be finality here. I don't like how my opponent's just manually tapping for everything. Yep. Alright, gotta rebuild. Alright, now we, we know we have three lands on the bottom. I still think that their last turn, if they would have played Jade Light Rain, or sorry, if they would have played Vivian, it would have been better if, they're, if they were planning on just going Finality the next turn. I think you answered your own question, Y-A-E. Hey, Wolfmaster. I should manually tap with my forests. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's certainly good. Finality is the, the toughest card for me to beat from their deck. I've seen things that would break someone like you. So I know we haven't we already had a Beast Whisperer, but we didn't have anything we could play for one mana there. The wild every fight makes me stronger. Hmm. That creature's a little bit bigger than mine. I 
often take one minute plus on really minor decisions, which in the end have no big impact. Oh, my apologies. Um, I could no cast the Beast the Whisperer like first I do. to see to see what like what my, what my next card is. All right, so Vivian can take three here. Yeah, we can let Vivian take three. You can't stop nature. Beating the Carnage Tyrants are going to be tough, especially if our opponent has another finality. Fina like, you know, like, what our deck is doing, how we're just trying to go really wide and everything. Finality is is certainly the best card from their, like, from their perspective, uh, from what we're uh, trying to do here. So seeing two finalities so far is, is of course, not what we want to see. And so we're hope hoping they don't have any more. We can possibly win with if they don't have any more finalities, but I, I don't think we're going to be able to beat another finality. Most wounds we'll see. can heal. I think we can win if we don't see another finality. I guess the I guess we have to be worried about their Vivian ultimate though. Yeah, all all sweepers are just incredibly good against us. Balance comes. Draw land. Oh, I should play the Marwin first. Right, because Marwin's not growing Pelt Collector. I was thinking that it would for some reason. I should play the Marwin first. So how are we going to keep this Vivian from ultimating and not die? Pop collectors are good draws. Those are cheap and can get pretty sizey. How many Elvish clan callers have we gone through? Two, Meet two clan callers so far. Friend. And I think I, I put one to the bottom with the Vivian tick up. So we have to attack Vivian next turn. But we're at 31 cards right now. We're we're going to be cycling through like those cards we've already put down to the bottom pretty quickly. Yeah, so their plan is just Carnage Tyrants and Finalities against us. And Vivian. So if they leave everything back. No, with with um Vivian, it puts them back in a random order, so you don't actually get to see what the cards are. So they are leaving everything back. No one knows the wilds like I do. I wonder if I should have Spyglass in my deck for Vivian. Yeah, just guy taking turns went 5-0. And it is. Thanks for reminding me. It is now currently on YouTube. Hmm. Let's see. Twenty-three cards. I mean, it's possible we can win, maybe. 
maybe. So we got eight mana with Marwyn. Have I not played a land yet? Sweet. We go nine mana with Marwyn. What are we doing on Steel Leaf Champions? Really, I'm getting the rope? Come on. Give me a break, deck. Three cards. Um, guess I attack with that. Yeah, give me a break. Rope. So we'll attack with this with Vivian, because this will at least, you know, like, their creatures are about to be indestructible with the Vivian emblem. So at least we'll take take away some of the creatures. Oh, uh, if they block with two Branch Walkers. Oh, no, they can only they can just block with one Branch Walker or one Jade Light. I would like them to block with two in trade. No, they're just going to block with one. All right, so they, they go to 12. Can we deal 12 damage to them? All right, discard Marwyn. Forest, 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 Vivian, uh, Beast Whisper, Beast Whisper. Have I not clicked enough cards yet? Another forest. Okay. So we have 12, 12 cards in our deck. You're, you're not walking out of here. These are all these are all trample and vigilant and indestructible. Uh -oh. I've Ooh. Seen I'm really glad they, they plus and they didn't minus you. and kill my banner. If they would have killed my banner, I'd, that would have been backbreaking. They did not kill banner. So I'm going to be blocking with both Beast Whispers because I can't really afford to draw more cards. And then I need to put at least five more toughness. I have to put I have to put at least 15 toughness in front of them. So I can I can block Beast Whisper, Beast Whisper, and then double double Land of War Elf or Thorn Lieutenant because I want to keep Pelt Collectors. So Beast Whisper, Beast Whisper, and then I guess Thorn Lieutenant, because it's better to, to block with one than block with two. Um, cause Thorn Lieutenant will just get blocked. Okay, and we're taking 18 and going to two. Oh, Steel Leaf blocked for th for free. Why did I just Why did I miss the Steel Leaf? Uh, we could have had that. We could have still had that other creature. Um, all right, we're at eleven. Oh, they picked him up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I guess we're gonna have lethal. I didn't really count it out yet. Yeah, they really need to kill my banner. I think we have lethal. We definitely. We definitely had lethal whenever we played the banner, but our opponent didn't know about the banner. But we were going to be able to go find... Yeah, we were going to have lethal, because not only with the ba the banner, but we were going to be able to find our last... Um, the 1-1 one -one that pumps our team. Yeah. 
So maybe I had ban maybe I had lethal before it, but definitely afterwards. What is this deck? This is elves. We just beat a Vivian Ultimate. That's the second time that I've beaten a Vivian Ultimate in like the last three days. The other time was with the Slytherin Angels deck that we just had enough life linking angels to beat a Vivian Ultimate. Like never beaten it before ever until like suddenly the last two days we've beaten it a couple times. Do you have a good setup around a disinformation campaign deck? Yeah. Or like are you just talking about like a, a, a disinformation campaign deck in general? Um, yeah, there's, so exclamation point decks helps you find all my decks in there. I guess Don did that right above me. Um, there's a disinformation campaign deck that I really like called Grixis Discard that's in there. <laughs> yep, Don, you got me right before. Uh, now MTG bot doesn't like me anymore. It's not not working for me. I'm seeing an an islands and a plains. Blue white blue white control. Hmm. Esper control. I want to do. Definitely want to play Banner next turn. I don't want to put too much stuff out in front of a Ritual of Set, though. I think I'm going to go Clan Caller and Attack. Uh, this is 21 Pilots holding on to you. Okay, not expecting. A ritual of soot as much now. So we're gonna go ahead and play this land war elf to make sure we can have mana mana for banner. Hmm. I really don't want banner to get countered. Banna. Yep. So seeing if they did anything about that, they did not. Uh, they used a counter spell. They did not. So let's kind of attack here. Have them tap their mana eventually. Wow. Binding for pelt collector, huh? For pelt collector. Is Vivian better than Banner? No. We're going banner first. Because if they have... That's kind of saying that they have another... Another Ixlons Binding. That's kind of likely. So if they have an Ixlons Binding for banner, then I can play v Vivian Reed and destroy the the Ixlons Binding and uh, get the banner, best, banner back. Okay. Well, now it's cast trigger, right? Yeah, so now we get to cast stuff and we get to just cycle... Now, like, I really don't mind overextending to the board because each each thing draws us a card, and it just makes it easier for us to resolve, like Vivian. But how are our opponents using their removal? It really doesn't seem like they have sweepers. And we've seen Moment of Craving and Vras's Contempt, so it certainly looks like they're playing black removal spells. 
um, which is um, meaning that like ritual sets so probably like their main sweeper. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Do I actually really need to kill this Ultraborn? Yeah, might as well. That can't help you now. Because if they somehow get rid of Vivian, I don't want them to be able to get Vivian back. Usually people don't play... Like, when people that play Esper, they usually kind of pick a lane between black and white. So usually you don't have Cleansing Nova if you have Brass's Contempt. That does mean um, that's always the case. Quickly. Some people that play Brass's Contempt still play, like, a Cleansing Nova. But... What would be good cyborg cards is a Golgari deck focused on sacking and reviving versus a mono red burn deck. Uh, Kral Foragers. Sounds like a good one to me. The wilds are my shield. <laughs> are they dead? Yeah, they're they're just dead. Doesn't really matter what I take. Oh wait. I don't have the mana. I need one more mana for Thorn Lieutenant. I can't activate Thorn Lieutenant and attack with Land War Elf. So they're not dead. Just curious, what do you think of this deck? I like the Guild Mages Forum. Random idea. What's Guild Mages Forum? Is that the... Time for plans it's pretty B. easy to deal 9 to them. Just get into Fairy out of here. Okay, it's that land. Okay, it's that land. Okay, I got you. Um... I know my You're response. Playing tons Hurry. Of color stuff. Man, Siege Horn Ceratops, it's just really not a very good card. Even if you make it a 3 3 with Guild Mages for him, I, I don't think you can really play Siege Horn Ceratops. What are they doing over here? So they got Vrass's Contempt. Wait, what are they targeting? They're targeting Vivian? You can't stop nature. They're just, they're just kinda dead, aren't they? Yeah, that, that's Oh my gosh. Why'd you why do you tap Marwin? Oh well it doesn't matter, it's still lethal. <laughs> I didn't want to tap Marwin. I just wanted to use my six mana and play. Okay, uh, Shaper Sanctuary. Probably cards we want. We want like Vine Mare, Carnage Tyrant, Sorcerer Spyglass. Uh, we've seen Binding and we saw Binding and Eldest Reborn. I don't know. Maybe we'll take those out. Sanctuaries also. We're not playing Harpooner, so we know that. Um, other cards we don't want to play, uh, Pelt Collector, not too strong. Um, maybe we don't get the Rex Ages in here. So that's 64. We could trim, like, Druid of the Cowl, or... Th Druid or Marwyn. If we're, we're putting a lot of things that are not Elves. Let's take out... Two Marwins. I guess I do need mana though. Actually, Clan, Clan Caller is the card that comes out. Clan Caller, whenever. Yeah, Clan Caller is actually just not that good here. Okay, that's actually fine. Okay, I like that. Because we're not necessarily trying to play lots of things on the battlefield, which makes Clan Caller worse. Um, this looks good. <laughs> we just smashed a fairy. Very proud of that action. Nice. Yep. We got game one. Games two and three are going to be harder. They'll likely have more sweepers. They did not really have very many sweepers. 
there. And by very many, you know, it was zero. So we'll see. Oh, one lander. Going to six. It's a lot of lands. Lands are cool. We just got to find our Vivian or our Carnage Tyrant or our Vine Mirror, something like that, right at the right time. What's the easiest way to import the deck? Um, so if you go to go to Stream Decker, if you want to like take it to to MTGA, you go to the deck list here on Stream Decker. Go to click the MTG export, MTGA export, and it'll copy the deck list to your clipboard, and then you just go into Arena and click the import button on your collection. Oh yeah, five lands is great. I'd much rather have five lands than one land. We only have 22 lands in our deck. We'll draw spells. Eventually. See, our opponent probably has like more Thought Ragers in their hand. Like, watch them cast another Thought Rager. Go ahead, cast another one. So that's six lands we know one's at the bottom so that's seven lands so there's only 15 other lands out of 51 cards so see we'll draw we'll draw spells see perfect oh i should play this first to play around syncopate instead of attack first but too late our opponent's not gonna have syncopate this that'd be mean Whew. Yeah, good. Nah. That's good. Seed. We have enough mana to cast Vivian or Carnage Tyrant. We have enough mana to cast our really big important spells. So that's that's the important thing. Look at that. Nice thought erasure. Card advantage is what we're getting here. Card advantage. <laughs> We're getting that flood value in. Flood value. And then we have we have our mana for Carnage Tyrant. Didn't I tell you that was perfect? See, you have to have mana to cast a Carnage Tyrant when you draw it. It's perfect. Perfect game plan. That's why you keep lands in standard. Standard, you need lands. Other formats, you don't. Standard, keep your lands. Might as well play around Sink Fate. We getting settled? Wow. I did not think they were playing Settled Wreckage. It's alright, we got more lands. We're still good. We got 10 mana now. Whoa. That card's pretty good. Yeah, I really didn't think it was necessary to play around Settle. I don't regret it too much not playing around it. Vivian would have been a great draw step. Still would be. Vivian can kill this Dawnbringer. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Yeah, they have to talk Thorn Lieutenant. Come on, Vivian. No, Keep they're taking up. The up. Okay. See if they have an answer to that Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, one more land, we get to pump twice and kill them. But, you know, they get three mana. So they could have a cast down. Certainly. Um. I think I attack that thing. No more games. So we would have we would have actually won if we would have just drawn a land there. 
But I guess we got a lot of lands out of the deck. Hmm. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. <laughs> Chad didn't want to keep a six lander, now it wants more land. No, it was a five lander. Because I mulliganed, we had five lands land war elf. Tucking Shaper Sanctuary? Really? Guess we have to attack them. Am I in Columbus this weekend? No, I'm streaming from my house right now. Like always. I'm here every day, 3 to 10 Eastern. You can find me if you're newer to the channel. You know what? I'm not done yet. We're right in the middle of that. I think we're losing this game. Nope, no Vivian. I guess I need to attack them and not the Teferi. I need to attack them and not Teferi. I don't think I want to bring in Harpooners to fight Dawnbringers, honestly. We did see... Alright, so we saw Golden Demise. Golden Demise only kills Lanowar Elf and then maybe Marwyn. That's not so bad for us. So they do have Settle. So that's something for me to be uh, wary about now. That's, I did not think they would have Settle before. <laughs> no, this game doesn't cost millions of dollars to play. You can actually play for free. It takes a little while to build up a, a collection, but you can start it off for free. And you can continue to play for free if you'd like. Ugh. I, mean, I really don't like keeping a, a five mana card whenever I don't have the ability to cast a five mana card. But Vivian is just so good that I'm doing it. Uh, Null Hide could, is probably is probably better. I think I have Vine Mare in the deck from just from time ago. But Vimeo is probably the better card for the deck, honestly. All right, cast down Steel Leaf Champion. Tap out. Go ahead and cast down the Steel Leaf Champion, so then we know Vivian's going to resolve. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So I'm thinking that I didn't live through hell to lose if to I you. don't, if I don't cast Vivian here, if I cast Shaper Sanctuary, and then they they Ritual of Soot away my two creatures. I may not get another land and another opportunity to play Vivian. And so I'm feeling that just playing Vivian right now and where Vivian can hit land drops towards Carnage Tyrant if, if we want or so on, I think that's the way to go. All right, and curve too strong for the opponent. We are three and one now with elves. Vivian too strong. Three and one. So, if we lose our second, we're done. We gotta win two more to get to five. Ooh. Yeah, and when you're new to the when you're new to the game, there's the five dollar um, new player bundle that is 
certainly worth it to, to buy. Um, so, certainly recommend getting the five player, the five dollar new player bundle. I like it. We have turn three Vivian. If we draw another forest, Vivian is OP. There's a forest. Yeah, I miss Garuk too. Garuk was a good planeswalker. I don't remember if something happened to Garuk in the, the story. I know Elspeth. Elspeth's kind of dead. Which is sad. Elspeth was cool. Yeah, we have lands, lands and spells. It's crazy. Yeah. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Just gonna keep the cheaper one. I think so. They they attack both at Vivian. And I think I actually just let Vivian take five. So I don't necessarily want. I lead the Golgari now. Which I'm, I am thrilled they minus that and kill Pelt Collector. Honestly, I don't really want um, them to draw a card with Midnight Reaper there. What? What is going on? What is going on? Oh, they're protecting their Vraska. Gotcha. Okay. That's reasonable, I suppose. They may have a Vraska's Contempt. My newest friend. Feel they have a Vraska's Contempt. They should have just played that, though. around the green settle. <laughs> yep, time to elf ball. Oh no, don't kill my banner. What you can't not kill banner. stop nature. Man, these Golgari opponents do not like killing banner. I'm pretty happy about. Everyone is expendable. Did not kill banner. We're just gonna ultimate this Vivian. No one knows the wilds like I do. Just gonna ultimate Vivian. Attack that thing. Yeah, Pelt Collector, better than Banner. That's what we've learned here today. I don't really expect to. Scars are lessons Vivian. written in skin. So they get they get minus their Vivian to kill my banner, minus their Vraska Balance kill something. Comes. Nope. They're all about that that tick up game. So I could I could certainly see them playing a finality here. Could certainly see that happening. But if they if they're casting finality, they can't kill Vivian. Okay. Well. We got the first one. Alright, we did a whole lot of sideboarding last time against uh, Golgari. So, we have these 15 cards in the sideboard, and they stay over there. Our 60 cards in our main deck stay right there, and we click the done. So that's what we did last time, and it worked out. So let's see if it works out again. Hey, track team. The day's going awesome. 
lots of amazing, wonderful, lovely people in here watching the stream, and I really do appreciate that. Spyglass for Vivian. Well, I have I have four Vivians in my deck, so it's so that's kind of the problem with Spyglassing their Vivian. Vine mares are so good here. Vine mare just trades with Merfolk Branchwalker. That's not any good. It doesn't draw any cards with like with the other elves. It doesn't get bigger. Shapers has to be good. I mean, their their main thing that's good against us is find finality, and I don't really have a way to stop that. They don't target too many things. Even if there were no high Feroxes, that would kind of keep us from playing our banner and our and other things. And no, I, we just don't sideboard here. Like we want to be as synergistic as we can in this matchup. We keep all of our elves. This is our, what our main decks. Kind of doing our thing. Our opponent can, can certainly stop our thing if they got a lot of fine finalities, but we're, we're going to do our thing. There's a choop. I'm just gonna trade here right away. I would rather they choop clan caller than choop steel leaf. So let's go ahead and play the clan caller. So I wanna play so they choop clan caller hit me for four. I play banner. That's a problem. The wild wasn't come to me. That's a problem. Now my banner's not as good. Plague Mare? Well, opponent kind of has everything against us here. Maybe they don't, they don't kill banner again. <laughs> yeah, the Jeskai turns deck is is very fun. It's it would certainly be horrible to play against. This is nothing. But it's very fun to play. All right, you got us on it. All right, we're gonna try to do that same kind of thing on the play. Game one, we had really early Vivian. Game two, they had really early Vivian. Now let's see. Now we're going to be back on the play. We're going to try to have really early Vivian. Just missing Karns and Jayas to make it. Yeah, it's a few mythics there, but it's it was a lot of fun. Um, you may want to save it, you know, for the next set. You know, we're under two weeks away from the next set right now. Twelve days. And things will change. Yeah, Rakdos Midrange is, is a good deck. That's a, a, a good, solid deck that we'll have up next. If we lose this, we're playing it next. I'm going to actually just go with Steel Leaf here. I kind of want to just put some pressure on my opponent. Let's do it. And plus, if they have like a removal spell, they're gonna have to use it on the Steel Leaf and not use it on my Beast Whisperer. Then hopefully, <laughs> our opponent had a lot of removal and Vivian uh, game two, and I had nothing. I had Banner that died to Vivian. They do not have any black mana yet, which is a good sign for us. Yeah, Deckmaster working. Uh oh. Well, both of their creatures are two power. Like, nothing blocks Steel Leaf still. 
Hmm. Do I want to throw another Beast Whisperer out here right now? Yeah. So I'm thinking like if they have if they have finality next turn. We're in a whole lot of trouble. I can't really stop us being in a whole lot of trouble. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play the Beast Whisperer though, because it costs four mana. And if they do finality, it's you know, like I don't want to have the four mana card in my hand, we'll have two two lands. Please don't finality. I'd much rather they Chupacabra the Steel Leaf than Finality. Okay, Chupacabra the Steel Leaf. I can handle that. It's much better for us. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Time to Elf Ball it up. This is what Elf Ball is all about. Casting spells. Cast spells. Draw cards. We have lands in this deck, right? There's gotta be a land in here somewhere. There's a land. Here we go. Get another clan caller in play. Thorn Lieutenant triggers the two Pelt Collectors. Trigger these Pelt Collectors. I have to discard a card. All these cards are good. All these cards are kind of good. If they finality. Uh, maybe we're just getting rid of our Vivian. Yeah. Dang. Should have played Clan Caller to play around that. Back down to three mana. Let's see if we can find a Marwin, maybe. Marwin would be good. No Marwin. Do more counters on Pelt Collectors. Alright, we'll discard two lands. We already got another land drop, and we're just drawing more cards, so. I want these Pelt Collectors to have at least... Whenever the Pelt Collectors have three counters, then they have Trample. So we'll then have three counters, and, and uh, then we'll be able to crash in. But it looks like it's going to be good enough. Four and one. No finality for the opponent. So just that that Steel Leaf was actually attacking for lethal. They had they had all two power creatures, so that Steel Leaf was actually attacking for lethal. So I guess because they were at five, so they did not have an answer for the Steel Leaf there. All right, four and one. Oh man, let's try it. I'm feeling it. Like, if we draw one land, it's got to be this, it's got to be on, like, we have to have the very next card be a land, but then we get to play Marwin, and then we, then we're going. This Elves deck I've had for a long time, uh, I just, I upgraded it today by just putting four Vivians in the main. This is, yeah, this is greedy. But this is just, it's just automatically win if we have a forest on top. Basically automatically win. It's like incredibly high percentage chance win if we have forest on top. 
21 forests in the deck. Not including the one in our hand. There's 21 out of 53. Isn't it the highest percentage chance that we draw it? Yeah, this is an incredibly greedy keep. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> no. And we had the forest on top, too. Ugh. What kind of deck is the biggest counter for this deck is just decks with sweepers. Decks with cards that remove multiple creatures from the battlefield uh, is the hardest thing for this deck to, to play against. Um, yeah, Illabox, fine. I honestly don't hate Illabox so much. But we had that force on top. It was an incredibly good chance we won that. One of the ways we didn't when it was shocking our land war elf. Our opponent had that. Certainly a way we did not win this. So good job, opponent. After that, we did not draw another forest in the next four draws. But it gave the deck gave us the first one, so I can't be too mad at the deck. No, we're not necessarily dead yet. We can beat a couple one ones and a one five. I'm not gonna just scoop right now. We can still win this game. It's not like a you know very high percentage chance that we win, but we it's still possible we win. I think our opponent kind of knows what forest forest. Lanwar Elf, Elvish Clan Caller, Pulp Collector, Thorn Lieutenant, what kind of deck that's going to be. I don't think not showing opponent more of the deck's going to help. I think our, our opponent already knows what's going on. So we need to have Marwin. Right now we're relying on Marwin. Crackling Drake, of course, makes it a whole lot harder for us to win. We're relying on Marwin. So if we go... If we go land... Marwin... No, I don't... I don't think we can... Yeah, now we cannot... Now we certainly cannot win without that, but we couldn't win now if they have the Crackling Drake. Okay. So sideboard, Harpooners come on in. Shaper Sanctuary. And... That's about it. Fine Mare is honestly not bad in this matchup. It gets chumped by the 1-1s, one but it's, it's good against like just kind of the normal Drakes kind of stuff. Pulp Collector comes out. Trimming Marwin because it's a 3-mana card that dies to shock, even though it's very good. Um... Yeah, I actually kind of like Vine Mares here. Yeah, I like Vine Mare. Um, what else are we cutting? I guess cutting the other two Marwins. Elvish Clan Caller. Clan Caller is really not very good. Maybe I'll just take out Clan Caller instead of Marwin. Yeah. All right, what do you think about this, Hawkeye? This good sideboarding? Hey, Baloney Pony. Yeah, Source of Spyglass stops activated abilities that are not mana abilities. So things like Vivian Reed has an activated ability that's not a mana ability. It's basically things with a colon. So see how that has, like these have like plus one, then there's a colon, minus three, there's a colon. It stops those kind of things. See how this has a colon on it? It stopped that. None of these other cards 
Spyglass wouldn't do anything against. Um, for the most part, Sorcerer Spyglass is mostly used for Planeswalkers. There's a few other cards, but it's mostly used for Planeswalkers. Yeah, I think Carnage Tyrant is... I think it's kind of hard. Like, it's... Six mana is a lot of mana, especially against a deck that's bolting our creatures. I think it may be a little too difficult to play. Or rely on. To play Carnage Tyrant, I think I'd have to cut Vanquisher's Banner. Like, I, I don't think I could play six... Uh, six five drops... And to Carnage Tyrants. Like, I don't think I can have, like, eight of that kind of thing. Obviously, like, how this hand has turned up, like, obviously, like, you know, I'd love to have more expensive stuff. But just kind of in general, I don't have that many expensive cards. Um, so I'd have to cut some five drops. And I think I like all the five drops more than Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, we have 22 lands, but we also have four Land of War Elf. Four Druid of the Cowl, four Marwyn. So we have we have twelve other we have twelve mana creatures to go with the twenty two lands. So like like that's like thirty four permanents that produce mana. good card to draw. We were still going to be able to attack in with Thorn Lieutenant and Steel Leaf Champion, because we were going to have 6 mana to be able to activate Thorn Lieutenant. So we were going to be able to attack in for 11, hard. but, you know, drawing Vivian, no one said we're just restoration playing Vivian. Was painless. Yeah, to find the Jeskai taking turns deck, just do exclamation point decks, plural, in the chat. That takes you to my stream decker. You can find the deck list there. Um, my stream decker is just streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Also, that always always gets you to all, all the deck lists. Yeah, no problem. Alright. So if they have... If they have Dive Down, the they're not... The are my shield. If they have Dive Down, they are not chump blocking... So they do have dive down, so they're not trump blocking. we are put them down to one. So it's gonna make it hard for them to attack Vivian when they're at one. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Meow, 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 meow. How you been, Hawkeye? You having a good day? Just sitting around, eating food. Yeah, maybe the Lava Coil Vivian. <laughs> nah, Lava Coil, of course. Only targets creatures. Vivian, not a creature. Vivian, a planeswalker. Alright, so they're getting rid of Thorn Lieutenant, which all that does is just replace the 2 3 with a 1 1. So the 1 1 still kills the opponent, also. They're at 1 life, so whether it's a 2 3 or a 1 1, doesn't really matter to me. That's what I kind of expected. 
I was gonna continue to I was gonna continue to say that the most likely outcome then is that they have a fiery cannonade for them targeting okay, that. Okay, so you've got claws. Well, I'm glad I didn't play Marwin last turn. I didn't just die to the fiery cannonade. Can they keep my battlefield clear long enough to kill me? What? What? Yeah, the only candy doesn't kill very much stuff in my deck, but it you know pairs w well with like the other removal spells we saw earlier. Is Lesnia good for his control? It's okay. It it can be tailored to beat control, um, but usually game one, Lesnia has lots of things that are good against aggro um, that are not so good against control. Yeah, no anger anymore. No, um, that one, that one that just left was the one that. Um, dang, opponent had eleven. Crackling Drake, still pretty good. Still pretty good. All right, four and two. Four and two. Not a bad showing from the elves. I'm glad going four and two with the deck. So we get our seventeen hundred gold. Let's see, Tetsamok. That's a cool dinosaur. And Runic Armasaur. Hmm, not that cool of a dinosaur. Yeah, our opponent with the the thinking. Oh well. But yeah, elves felt pretty good. Um. If you want something a little different that has a whole lot of power, where's our elves deck? It could really be anywhere. Elves, there it is. Um, I don't love my sideboard, don't love Vine Mirror. And honestly, I was, I was pretty disappointed with Kral Harpooner. A lot of those times, Kral Harpooner would not have even killed uh, like Crackling Drake and, and Tempest Gin and stuff like that. Uh, Shaper Sanctuary was pretty good. Maybe a third Shaper Sanctuary in the sideboard. But if you want something different, like I think this is a really good FNM deck, honestly. I think this is pretty fun. You get to just do some really crazy stuff with Beast Whisperer, Banner, uh, Marwin, as we saw there before, like us drawing through basically our whole deck. Um, yeah, so I liked the Vivians in the main. I thought Vivian was great. Um, I added a couple more lands to be able to help out with the Vivian, and I think that was worth it. I liked the land count where we had it. And there we go. So if you want something a little different, check it out, out Elves here. So if you were watching this on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you hit the subscribe button and follow along for new videos. But until next time, thanks for watching. See ya.